Mr. Shirota, thank you for your kind introduction. As he mentioned, Sony Technology Exchange Fair was held last, last week, and also Sony Technology Day 2021 was held in hybrid style last week. And it was hard to, um, to hold that conference and event both online and in person. I hope this will be a much improvement uh, for hybrid conferences. Hello everyone at the venue and everyone watching online. This is my name is Katsumoto. Since the spread of the new coronavirus around the world that I have been communi communicating with many people remotely and this is my first time in two years that I've spoken in a real venue like this in person and I'm so happy and I feel the gratitude in order to do that. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. The, my name is Katsumoto. Uh, I have looking forward to seeing you today. And the, the, really, uh, I'm honored to be here at Seagraph Asia 2021. And today, let me allow to speak in Japanese. Uh, since the, the, this event, real uh, conference, the most of uh, audience are Japanese. So uh, thank you for your cooperation and understanding. Thank you. SIGGRAPH Asia was held in the venues in Tokyo in 2018, Brisbane in 2019. But last year, due to the COVID-19, the event was completely became online. And this year will be held in the hybrid, uh, both in in person and virtual. I think it is very difficult to organize such a global conference under the current circumstances. Nevertheless, I am pleased to have been given the opportunity to speak in front of you at SIGGRAPH uh, Asia 2021. First of all, um, the moderator touched upon a little bit, but I'd like to introduce my personal background and talk about what I value in order to make the most of technology, which is an important point related to this team. I joined Sony in 1982, which is about 40 years ago. It was in Showa era. First, I was involved in the development and production of the Handycam. And then I was then transferred to the television business. And for six years, I was posted in Europe uh, sent to Europe to support the digitalization of broadcasting. After returning to Japan, we ran, launched the a single lens camera business, which was inherited from Konica Minolta. Later, I served as the first president in, of the joint venture launched in Olympus and the medical business. After returning to Sony, I was involved in the professional equipment business. And currently I am the CTO of the Sony Group in charge of corporate R&D. Of all the things that I've learned from the, these experiences, there are two particular values that I've learned. The first one is, as the moderator touched a little bit in the beginning, it is diversity and inclusion. This is a story from when I was sent to UK. At the time, there was a project underway in Europe to digitize broadcasting. And then I was assigned uh, to oversee the project. The project team was m consist uh, of members from all over Europe. So their backgrounds and perspectives were diverse. As a result, it wasn't easy to reach a agreement or consensus of any discussions or meetings. But does that mean the team was weak? In fact, I still feel that we are a very strong team. The reason why I feel that way is that because we are able to discuss various points of view, various thoughts and debate until we were satisfied and work together as a team to adapt 
a single opinion that seems a little ext extreme. In a place like that where many different opinions are gathered, it is easy to level them out. People would like to maybe reach the concept consensus rather. However, that would consolidate into an opinion with no distinguished features. So it would be not be able to have a strong competitive edge. Competitiveness is the difference. Uh, it is a differentiation from other companies. So I believe that power is hidden in extremes. Diversity and inclusion in technology means considering the use of diverse business areas. In other words, it means not considering a one size fits all approach but discussing finding a way to use diversity and inclusion and each business to the fullest extent. So the second thing I value the most is deeply understanding uh, the field or, or off the field. At first, I was uh, challenging a new area of business based on my own experience and success. And I thought this is the way it should be done. So it wasn't working at the time. For example, the same Japanese word may be used in a completely different way in different companies. Each company has different meanings even if it's the same term or same word. So being aware of the differences has greatly changed my motivation and situation. In order to find the right way to leverage technology, we must first understand each other in depth and the contents in which we operate and what is required by the customers or the surroundings. So the topic of my talk today is how to fill the world with excitement through creativity and technology. This topic also overlaps the Tony's, uh, Sony's purpose and, and also the mission. We are a company that provides excitement and we believe that creativity and technology are required for the excitement. Currently, gaming, network, services, music, film, electronics products and solutions, image and sensing solutions, which is semiconducting products, and also financing. So they have grown into a company that with the diverse range of businesses. There are, of course, many of you, of you know that products like TV or radio, the recorders and televisions that are made or were made by our ancestors. But products are created by technology. However, since that time, we have focused not only on technology, but also on creativity and also continue to take the challenge, challenge of providing new experience and impressions. So first of all, how have we created excitement and creativity and technology? We'll share the important points from the two aspects of sound and image touching in Sony's history. So about the sound, what is the, what do you think of what the typical things about emotional experience of sound? So it depends on people, but maybe live concert Or if you have a new uh, equipment, such as new audio set in your home, or some of you may have thought of, um, at the time when you heard the sound of the origin of audio. So Sony has delivered products like recording media for users at, and creators, such as microphones, radio, Walkman, PCM recorders, microphone, radio, Walkman and other recording medias. 
So today I will talk about the relationship between creativity and technology focusing on radio and CD. So if you take a look at this, this was Sony's first transistor radio, the TR55. The radio overcame a number of technical challenges to become compact and went on sale in 1955. This led to a dramatic increase of overseas exports of transistor radios and subsequent models become a worldwide hit. However, in the background of this success, not only the innovation and miniaturized technology, but also the trends in the music at the time and the company changes in the musical experience can be cited as major factors. At the time, the style of radio use in the United States was like this. It was used by everyone in a family so the small portable radio uh, wasn't really in demand at the time. However, at the time, the music that strongly encouraged personal use was beginning to become popular among especially young generations. That is rock and roll. So I won't go into the details of the origins of detailed characteristics of the music here, but rock and roll wasn't something you listen in your re living room and your family. It was the kind of music that you would listen um, in your room and it was your friends when you hang out in the car or outdoors. So this led to the idea of small portable radio where you can use outside and the success of transistor, transistor radio. So as you can see, in order to deliver a new experience to the world and connect to the excitement the technology that makes it happen is, of course, necessary, but it is not sufficient. It's the value that technology can provide resonating with the user, whatever or not you can get into the flow of the field where its technology is being used. Those are also important. So this is followed by the case study of CD. The way you listen to music may be by using analog record or cassette tape, CD, MD, downloading, or streaming. And the shift from analog to digital is having profound effect of creators. And also the CD was jointly developed by Sony and Philips as a digital recording medium to replace analog technologies. During the development of the CD, Sony and Philips deferred on that one point. That was the recording time. Philips claimed that the size was the same as the diagonal, uh, diagonal link of the record audio cassette, which was 11.5 centimeters, which confirms that in the German standard, On the other hand, Sony insisted that um, opera mustn't be cut off in the middle of the performance and Beethoven's Ninth must fit in one CD. We also checked the length of the classic music for that and if it can record 75 minutes of music, it will be able to cover 95% of the old classic music and for that purpose, the size of the CD should be at least 12 centimeters in diameter. And there was a big argument you know, for this use. And as a result, uh, 74 minutes and then 42 minutes for the uh, CD size of the 12 centim centimeters you know, was the one that we decided that we will go for. Both of us was right you know, for the direction. And even if we pick up the uh, Philips idea, I think it was okay. And we have, we would have been successful for that. And however, uh, does the product impress people? 
or deliver emotions, people. This is the great、uh, question you know, for us. And you know, if the、uh, music cut off in the middle, we couldn't do that. And that's why we had to do this. And this kind of the idea, creator creates contents and the perspective of the how it will be delivered to the users, is one of the most important points to be fulfilled. Next, I would like to talk about the、uh, cases you know, for the、uh, images. So, I would like to pick up the、uh, CD.、Uh, I talked about the CD for the audio perspective. Now, as for the image, I would like to talk about the cases for the creators. The audio was about the、uh, users. And Sony, the technology that、uh, represented the technology、uh, for the、uh, creator was the、uh, camera Alpha and the digital cinema camera Venice. Both of them, starting from the、uh, development type, we discussed with cameraman and the directors of the movie and tried to make it a better one. And this is because we really want to understand what's happening in the forefront. And when I, in the approach you know, for the, the production, we Put you know, all the、um, information about the creativity and technology in here. I would like to show you a video to talk about that. I've enjoyed shooting with the Sony Cine Alta cameras for 19 years, but I'm really looking forward to shooting Avatar 2 and 3 with the new Venice camera. When people go to Pandora, we want to transport them to a world far away. We need a camera that will live up to the beauty of Pandora and the image it creates. The Venice camera delivers the most astonishing image I've ever seen. You get incredible dynamic range, you get perfect color. I mean, this is a stunning, crystalline, clear image. They heard us. They heard what Jim wanted in a camera system. And they were willing to take their state of the art Venice camera and conform it to Jim's needs. What we have found with Sony is a partnership that goes beyond just the Cine Alta universe. We are using Sony cameras for all of our reference of our performance capture on the stage. We're using Sony for time lapse photography that we are doing because they've heard us. They listen to the filmmaker in terms of what features a filmmaker might want in the camera, and they'll go way out on a limb. I know that they're going to deliver the engineering. If they say they can do it, they will do it. So, from this video, the Sony engineers w a s able to,、uh, you, I think you were able to see how Sony engineers were able to understand the,、uh, what's going on on, on the、uh, forefront you know, of the、uh, filming and how they were they delivered the Venice, the supreme product for us. And the message of the video is not just this. If you could take note of that the creators really.、Um, Trust, have a trust in Sony's in the product. And this shows you know, how our relationship you know, with the creators and Sony do the relationship. And both of us should work together to enhance the quality of the product. And the creators, now, if they could create you know, rich contents and if it's been delivered to the users in the appropriate way, and then and I'm sure the world will be filled with emotions. So, Linking creators and the products and the, and the users, if we put them all together with a strong link, and we believe that begin,、uh, delivers that emotion. At one time, about 10 years ago, we didn't have a good business performance and we, we were not sure about our future. And during that time, we, of course, we continued to make challenges on ourselves. But at that time, how c r e a t o r will be able to use our product? What kind of emotion can we deliver to the users? And how can we link the creators and the users? At that time, I think we forgot about that. And rather, we were just focusing on the technology. That's how we think when we look at that those times. And currently at Sony, again, we started to be based on this the emotional chain again. 
Now, let's talk about the creativity and the technology, how we are going to fill the world with the emotions. Now, let me talk about some of the cases. And I would like to pick up some uh, points to be highlighted. Sound, audio, and visual. And then we are also focusing on the space. So, so far, we were focusing on audio, or visual, and we were trying to make the quality and high resolution and a headset and with a noise cancelling feature or autofocus function of the camera. It's a part of the real-time processing technology, and those were the things that we were focusing on. However, with the COVID pandemic, uh, we people started to want to share the uh, content you know, with the uh, people in the remote area or the people away, and this kind of the uh, sharing and is going to be fo uh, is now being focused and the more and more focused is on the audio and the image. So and this this kind of the idea of the space came into our space, creation on a volumetric uh, technology and the uh, volumetric uh, three hundred and sixty. A visual a reality audio and then the separation of the uh, uh, sound source and those are the technologies that we are working on recently in SIGGRAPH HR 2021 and I would like to talk about the real-time live session and here and on Friday we are going to have the Sony virtual real-time session and also we have the uh, spatial reality display which is being already exhibited and I would like to pick up these use cases. Virtual production. In camera, VLF and then the big monitor is being incorporated. 3D CG is being utilized, and that is going to be um, projected on the uh, big display. And you know, it will be shot, you know, from, uh, shot from the uh, camera, and without doing any further process that could be made in the, uh, on the contents. Depending on where you are and where the camera is, uh, the uh, background you know, would change you know, in the life. And then as you can shoot them, as if you are taking a shoot in the real uh, in the background. This is a new technology. And at Toyota, Corolla Cross was the new car that the Toyota launched. And this one, this car in the video. And they are using this technology right now. And LED display is being uh, placed on top of the roof and then also on the floor. And then we made a, sh a shooting uh, from the various aspects. And this is being used for the filmmaking as well. You mean Amino Hansei? That is a 10 minutes short video and a virtual production technology was employed. This movie was created by the Sony picture Revoc 12. And this is part of the Revoke 2 of Omnibus movie. And for your information, the Revoke is, comes from the uh, COVID. Now, if you put an alphabet from the, uh, from the bottom to the first, then it will become Revoke. And along with the uh, Korean United, we want to make a big turn of the COVID-19. That was an intention that we, how we coined this term. I can show you the video here, but those and the people and if we were able to uh, uh, we have a video that the creators were talking Well, although it is the highest advanced in technology, we thought you know, it's more like a manual process. Digital and analog are incorporated. I think it's a good fit for me. 
I think this is the best case that you know, we were able to you know, incorporate the intention of the director. With this you know, in the BFFX, you know, we saw the you CZ know, building and you know, all the you know, objects. And if the camera moves towards the right, you know, and then we can see inside of the building, and also you know, we can see the left hand side you know, of the building. So it's not just the shooting in the background, but all the background and the camera movement are linked. Well, we will be able to you know, uh, take this you know, within only three days, you know, but with this technology, we were able to do this in such a short period of time. So you know, when this you know, actress is you know, uh, running in the forest, I didn't feel. Well, I felt you know, as if I was you know, an acting, and I got that you know, strong feeling that I was an you know, acting. I really enjoyed myself. If we use a you know, cream bag, well, it's very hard to feel what is going on. But if we could see the background and we can see how it's going, it makes a total difference. I really thought, wow, that's great. Well, I love this movie because everybody looks so attractive. And Sony's technology was able to motiv uh, motivate their creators and another point is that and if we use a virtual production and they were enjoying the process of filmmaking, I think you were able to feel that with that video. So this shows another aspect of the technology that Sony is trying to make. Well, technology contributes to the creative spirit of the creators and at the same time, then it will make people happy. So in order to, um, so you now we can motivate the creators you know, so that they can enjoy them, it will be able to bring the emotions and excitement to the um, viewers and audience. And you know, we are part of that contribution. When in the back, in the, uh, back before, the analog technology was in the mainstream. And if we could know all the technology and the product itself was the value. However, in this digitalization era, the value, the core of the value is not the product, rather it is an experience. For us, experience means user's experience. And just like we showed in the way the virtual production, creator's experience are also included. And since that experience is a core of the uh, the value, and we need to think about how we can deliver that to the people. Virtual production system. We were not able to create this Sony by itself alone. We have to incorporate you know, all the different types of the technologies, creators and you know, users, and you know, we want to deliver the um, emotions and excitement you know, to them. And Sony's technology shouldn't be used only for Sony. It should be used by the different types of the creators and the companies so that they can all utilize the technology. This is a kind of the world that we would like to create along with you. And so that you know, we would like to fill the world with emotions. And one more thing. This is something that I would like to share with you. Virtual production system. And uh, there is a device to show the background. Crystal LD display is used you know, for that purpose. This display have the optic you know, technology of the unique sonic. So it can have the uh, very uh, broad in the range. And because of that, and it can give you the sense of the uh, loveliness. And then auto, uh, the response time is very high. So if you do the rendering at the real time, then you should be able to the, uh, link them without any delay. So you can just use this as if you are taking the uh, real feature. The R&D has started about 20 years ago. 
with the initial goal of com commercializing um, as a consumer display. During the development process, our consumer product development was halted. Realistic video expression and fast response time. The future that when using a green background, it is hard to get the night, uh, right feeling. So as you can see, we are able to find a way to make the most of the professional shooting scene. And I, as I touched upon in the beginning, I think this is an example of, of important, importance of considering the use of technology in various businesses, which I mentioned in the beginning. And also, um, this is the example of the use case, spatial reality display. This is the 3DCG creation in the medicine field. This display uh, is it, without having to wear special glasses, he headsets, or other devices. Sony's unique gaze recognition technology constantly de detect the position of the eyes. At this year's Seagraph Asia, the beautify developed by Science Shiji Creator, uh, led by Science Mint Incorporated, Hirohumi Seo, the creator, on display is the system that combines two 2D images from MRI and CD. The scan with software that instantly converts them into 3G, 3DGC, or CD. This display was developed based on the concept of faithfully re reproducing the creative intentions of creators, and not just being technologically superior, but also being a valuable product for creators who express their images. And from the very beginning of the development, the SDK are also developed for Unity and Unreal Engine, two of the most popular 3D video content production environments. With the medical field um, use by the com com combination of 3D CG creations, we ho hope you will visit our booth and hear about it directly from the developers. So what I'm trying to tell you um, is this instance of if you stick only to your own technology and proceed with the development only from your own point of view, you may narrow down to potential of that technology. If we had pursued development only in the area of video entertainment, which is Sony's area of expertise, we would not have been able to conduct this kind of joint development, and Sony would have missed the opportunity to create new excitement. At this stage, both virtual production and spatial reality display are just beginning to work with creators to see what kind of excitement they can create. How to deliver excitement to users and what kind of user experience should be realized in excitement value chain um, are areas that we'll be examining in the future. So it's not just the two cases I've mentioned, such as bowl metric capture and 360 reality audio, Sony's technology will not evolve on its own, but it will be combined with a variety of creativity and technology. And also, at SIGGRAPH Asia 2021, Sony Picture Animation, ImageWorks are joined to as a merging technology. And also uh, how we are uh, developing the technology uh, will be shown at that event. So, uh, at last, we'd like to go into, um, get into the, our future, future challenges. We'd like to creativity, uh, have creativity technology enhance 
the idea that technology is something that makes people happy and brings imp inspiration and bring happiness to people. So combining a variety of technology and creativity to create new value is our approach for development. An emotional value chain is very important. And our, our initiatives in space and sports are challenged to seek our new excitement created by multiply, multiplying creativity and technology in fields that are not limited to our own domain. With challenges, there's always risk. However, I believe that the risk of not trying is higher than the risk of trying. As I'm speaking with you, technology alone cannot create excitement. There is, or this is where people's creativity is necessary. And there is only so much one company can do. We look forward to talking on the challenge, in, the challenge of creating future value together with you. Thank you so much for your attention. Much for uh, the speech, Mr. Katsumoto. We will now move on to Q and A session. The audience that are in the floor, please use this microphone if you have any questions. And those You're in the floor. Those who are watching this, and now you can do so from virtually. So I would like to not expect your active discussion. Uh, before that, and I will be an icebreaker. Thank you very much for your lecture and the keynote speech. And I do have a lot of questions myself to start with. Well, well, the SIGGRAPH community is a diverse community and different in the ages. Now, some of them are students, and today we see a lot of the students working as a volunteer. And the operation itself is been done by the SV. So you talked about your own personal career history and before you joined Sony. I would like to understand what kind of the student you were and why you decided to join Sony. So I'm sorry to ask your personal history, but if you don't mind, please share that with us. Yes, thank you for your question. Well, before talking about my university student, actually my mother, uh, my father was a banker. Oh, is that right? And then my father was a banker as well. So I had to the uh, move along. He was being transferred, and I have to transfer uh, to the different locations you know, with him. So even before I get into the uh, primary school at the time of the kindergarten, and I, I had to, I was not able to continue to the same kindergarten. So I experienced in you know, the three primary school and uh, three junior high school. So because of that, and I didn't want to work somewhere that I need to transfer, and then. I decided to study the uh, electronic uh, technology. And my thesis for the graduation thesis I had to get some data. So there was a recorder to make the uh, PCM into a data, and that was uh, such a great product. And I just wondered, you know, oh, what is a Sony? I was so interested in the Sony because the product was very good. And, and when I visited the Sony, and everybody was enjoying their work. So I thought, wow, this is a great place to work in. Of course, and I visited some other companies, but I thought the Sony is great. And if I work for Sony, I thought, and I wouldn't be able, to, I, I wouldn't be transferred to any other places. I can just stay one place. But in fact, it was not true. After joining, I had to be, uh, I was being transferred. So when I 
Uh, we sh you showed the video, you were talking this as well. You mentioned that everybody was enjoying. And is that the point that you love? Yes, enjoy myself. And that's the kind of the thing that I really want to do. And I love that kind of feeling. So I went to Shinagawa plant, you know, which was focusing on the uh, audio. At that time, I was a student and a person uh, the, uh, who was uh, explaining a uh, briefing for me was uh, probably he was uh, four or five years older and he seemed to enjoy his job so much. And this is quite typical with the Sony engineer. And their eyes were shining when they were talking about their products. I really love that. So when I look at your bio, handicam, TV, and you went to EU and camera, medical, you seem to be covering all sorts of the product, and just like another uh, companies and the big companies, and they were uh, moving around and different type of the uh, divisions and the functions. How did you find that? You said that you were engineer as a nature. But at that time, how you were thinking you know, when you had to cover such a different areas? Yes, we talked about the PCM recorder, and it was for the business. So that was for the broadcasting station, and we talked about the TV camera for the broadcasting station, and then that section was producing something for their professional purposes. I thought, and I will go to the function and where it creates a biggest in the product in Sony. So that's why I, w I was working in Atsugi. And in Atsugi, Handicam was under development. Well, Handicam was not the biggest product. And actually, that was the smallest product in Atsugi. So that was the starting point of myself and in career in Sony. But the uh, speed of the development is very fast and if we want to create in a product we need some knowledge about the sales and we also need some knowledge of the product so technology knowledge is not good enough we need to understand the users if we want to come up with a very good products so that's why i think that sonia was the, um, moving the people around and uh, Quite often, I had to move from one function to the another. And uh, digital, the broadcasting just started. And so that's why I was transferred to, to the EU. And now and then we started to do the alpha, and then we, uh, the uh, technology was transferred to the full of them. Uh, Konica Minota, so I was asked to work with them. And then the next one was uh, Olympus. And we decided, uh, Sony decided to um, start the joint ventures, and that's why we were asked to do that. Well, actually, I just wanted to work in the uh, one area. But when my boss tells me, why don't you go there and there, I always felt, oh, that's interesting. So I didn't deny that. Uh, I just accepted it. And so since my childhood and was a history of their relocation, I mean, their transferring and changing the places to live. So after three years time, I think now it, I'm ready to go somewhere else. That's how I would think. Yeah, I totally agree. Every uh, once in three years, I have to move. And then we know the uh, three years is the uh, kind of the time frame to create myself. And that is the kind of that thinking that I would have. But I think it looks like you, know, you had a great learning from that childhood experience. Well, I had to move from Tokyo to Niigata when I was a primary school student. And since it was a show one, I was bullied. Oh, here's a boy who came from the uh, Tokyo. And that time, the um, uh, wrestling and was really in a boom. So the um, classmates and just you know, fight it with me, and then they did uh, kind of the uh, wrestling on me. And then after a while, well, I get used to it, and I was able to mingle and the way that the people. And then I felt, and that's how I should survive. 
So even after I joined a company, well, first of all, I have to achieve something. And because of that achievement, I think that the boss would invite me to for their new job. But if I talk, if I'm too proud about what I have done in the previous function, then people wouldn't follow me. So I will just start from the scratch. Now, whenever I go to this somewhere else, and the first thing that I would do is just talk you know, with the people. And every three years, and I was repeating this. And I think, and I was lucky that I had, I was able to experience this kind of the thing in your childhood. Understood. You mentioned that we need to understand in the forefront of the business, and then even in the same Jap、uh, even in the same、uh, even in the among the Japanese companies, and then the people are different, and the cultures are different. I think this links you know, with that experience was yes. There are so many things that you can only learn from the forefront of the business, and cinema camera business that I talked about, and, and there was a camera that, a director in the video, and if you go to Hollywood. I think I know it's we should go to. I went to the forefront. I went to the shooting field to learn and how they are doing this business. So even in the the button should be on the right hand side, on the left hand side. I was able to learn. Oh, this is a bad way, and this is how they can shoot efficiently, and then what the lightness of the click. I was able to digest that. And in order to do that, first of all, I have to understand you know, fully the、uh, flow of the、uh, camera shooting. Otherwise, you, know, you cannot make an, any good product. And today, I have a very good close relationship you know, with the broadcasting staff. When I was working for the Konica,、uh, then I was、uh, just a layperson, so I had to start from the scratch. But what I had learned is that.、Um, Uh, first, you have to learn about the you know, function and the features, and of course, the good quality is a very important thing. But another point that you have to think about another thing of the broadcasting: how the contents of a video should be transmitted to the、uh, station, the base station. That means the communication、uh, technology is very important you know, for the、uh, camera and contents. Oh,、uh, then which is very heavy will not be transmitted immediately. So the first thing they would do is just to send the light contents, and, and then and that will be followed by the heavy. That's a kind of then a workflow that they are working on. Without knowing that, you wouldn't know how to develop the product appropriately. Alpha nine, that's a high end camera, and、uh, this is for the professional use, and that was made possible because I just joined the、uh, broadcasting team. And learn and how they are working on it. So, anybody has a question? Thank you very much. Well, this is something a little bit different from the ordinary keynote speech. About you, know, you were talking about the broad range of the experiences, and then you were able to show us you know, all the、uh, products that you wanted to talk about, and you also talked about the, the business transfer you know, from the Konita Minota, and you went through a lot of challenges. But as a CTO, and how? Do you get an information how people are enjoying? How do you know that your stuff is enjoying, especially under this pandemic? Thank you for the question. Before the pandemic has started, of course,、uh, we loved going to meet people in person more than ten times. Ten times so that we have trouble for business. To the U.S. and also in Europe, not just for the Sony Group, but the filmmaking and also the entertainment and other departments that we used to travel 
that we meet in person, have dinner together after a meeting. When you do that, there are some people who are in charge or in a management level regardless of their age. So you build relationship with these people talking in personal things or private matters as well. And you spend time uh, making those relationships. For example, there is a team um, that works in charge for PlayStation now. They have acquired a business and bring in the business into the Sony Entertainment. So they shift the technology in order to build the PlayStation now. So the leader uh, in that group was a very, very uh, interesting person, a very uh, appealing person. And he is now a top of the group, the head of the group. There is a company called Median um, that they have acquired. They produced a very high quality SDA and network products and services. So there are people who used to do networking with and also the other company in Northern Europe that were you used to develop the relationship with. So those are company that uh, manages the uh, information internally, externally. So we used to do ex information exchange by discussing or a meeting in person. So that applies to not just us, but for bank and financial businesses as well. There are business relationships all over the group. The Sony CTO was actually uh, in charge or working in that uh, relationship building or networking effort. So we used to uh, contact those head people and also uh, observe a new update information. It seems like it was very fun to be in your position and it is important to to feel the pleasure of working uh, in a position. Of course we are working remotely as well uh, for those team building and relationship building but it's not the same. So that reminds me uh, of the importance of being in person. So we're running out of time. If you have any questions, um, please ask more and I can pick up some questions from the online. And how do you inspire the creativity internally? That was a question for you. So as I mentioned, I think coming up with idea or maybe noticing new idea is very important. There are engineers that who work in many locations. For example, Sony Olympus Medical Solution is one of our group company. They do um, produce or manufacture probe, probe, probe for medical use um, and embed it the Sony technology so they are have operating room and also medical rooms. If we visit there, I feel um, I receive so, so much inspirations from the environment. Procedures and operation has its own protocol from the start to the end. They follow the instructions in this each step in order to complete the operation, medical operation. So there are things like you have to properly plug in the outlet 
and also the how to place tables. That's very critical in order to organize the operational rooms. And also, they have live streaming um, using monitor for the medical procedures. And it looks like a TV studio. So if, as I ask questions, they do use um, terms like studio, even they're in the medical and environment as, as they're in the hospital. So the studio uh, are being used in entertainment industry and the medical industry are very similar. So that was something that the new finding that I had. That was very interesting. Thank you so much for the presentation. So personally, VR, AR um, are very uh, interest of mine. Uh, there are many devices available. And also you are developing many displays as well. In the future, what is the ultimate display for Sony? And also, what are the challenges that you are facing in order to reach to the goal? Thank you so much for the question. There are many cha challenges and that we are tackling as we speak. The special reality display uh, is, is incredible. I, I hope you can see it. They detect the real-time eye movement and also display the same um, picture as you can see in the, in the screen or the, the Google. So there are still challenges in that technology. If we expand the technology uh, to the bigger size, then there are more challenges as well. In order to allow the creators to uh, share the contents, we need to really be concerned about the our ability to provide the technology. So there are some issues um, in order to do that. And also the headset doesn't really have the, the realistic view. So the Sony Technologies has, the device has the created OLED technology. And you can see the video using the device as well as other objects are can be seen. If you try using that, um, it's very close to being 100% realistic. So how much we can extend that technology or capability is one of our challenges. And also the contents are important as well to match that superior technology. So that's something that we've been working with the creators I think the technology will be near near perfect in the near future, but the contents to work with the sphere technology is also important as well. Thank you so much. There are many more questions uh, virtually, but we're running out of time, unfortunately. Please send me more questions, and we can I can send it back to you um, after the stage is done. It's done. Thank you so much for joining with us out of your busy schedule. Please have a round of applause to Miss Katsumoto. Thank you.